Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. s a l a d i k r a and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. I'm JP Mistanza, and here's the news you need to know. A tragic story out of Prachimburi province as a double decker bus carrying 44 students and six teachers ran off the road in the middle of the dark and fell into a ravine, killing at least six people. After the dust settled, two students were dead along with three teachers, and a fourth teacher died at a local hospital, succumbing to their injuries. The accident happened this morning at about 4 30 a.m. as the high school students were headed to a study center at Chantapuri. As a reward for completing their final exams, 44 people were sent to two local hospitals, and as police investigate exactly what happened, they are looking for the 33 year old driver of the bus who they say fled the scene following the incident. And with the marking of International Women's Day yesterday, Bangkok's Victory Monument area were filled with women rights activists campaigning to make commuting safer for women. The Safe Cities for Women campaign kicked off yesterday, complete with participants blowing whistles and others sharing their experiences with sexual harassment while taking public transportation, all in an attempt to have the Transport Ministry address the issue by taking action. It all coincided with the release of a new study by Thai Health, in which 1,500 women in Bangkok and neighboring provinces took part, of which 26% of women said they experienced verbal harassment while taking public transportation. In addition to 17% admitting they were touched by strangers. The survey also revealed that just under 40% of women who were harassed while commuting do not tell police because they don't believe Thai laws would protect them. And by this coming Monday, the siege of the country's biggest temple, the sprawling 2300 Rai Wat Pradamakaya, will come to an end, according to the Department of Special Investigation. Thousands of law enforcement officials from various departments have been surrounding the temple since February 16th, all in an attempt to search the grounds to bring embattled monk Pradamajayo to justice for money laundering and receiving stolen goods in a billions of baht. But now, authorities are turning their attention to the temple's medical care facility, the b u n r a k s a building, where the 72 year old is believed to be. The measure was announced just after it became public that temple parishioners and monks were digging moats around the Bunraksa building, which have caused homes of nearby residents to become flooded out by the water. The story is ongoing. And stay right there, Pukadexter will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. The BBC's short wave towers in Nakhon Sawan, central Thailand, will be shut down after the broadcaster and the Thai government failed to agree on terms of its operating permit, which was up for renewal. Previously, Thailand's military government had been critical of the BBC's online Thai language service, so it's hardly a surprise that the government and the broadcaster were unable to reach an agreement on the operating permit. The move will effectively end the 20 year operation of the BBC's transmission from Thailand to the rest of East Asia, with 45 people losing their jobs along with the shutdown. And could solar panels be fitted onto the roof of the Phuket Provincial Hall? Well, that's just one of the ideas being considered as officials look for ways to cut costs on spiraling utility bills racked up by the government offices on the island. Earlier this week, Phuket Vice Governor Tira Ananta s e r i w i d y a suggested the measure during a meeting with heads of the main government offices on the island, where it was revealed that the cost of keeping the lights on and the water flowing at the offices have increased. Along with adding solar panels, the Vice Governor also suggested charging fees for using provincial hall meeting rooms, though that's still under consideration. And that's it for Phuket Extra today from all of us here at the Phuket News Center. Thanks for watching. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Moving? Sending stuff from Phuket? Or maybe you need some important items brought to the island? USPPhuket.com. Put yourself in experienced hands. USPPhuket.com.